other thing I was wanted to address was um, the credit situation. Meaning, it doesn't. I mean, it makes sense. I get it, but it doesn't make sense that a distributor could buy something from a mill, have it on the ground, like totally ready to sell. So they've paid for it one time already. It's a sunk cost at this point. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's an investment. We'll see. And um, then just to have a seat at the table to sell something, they have to be willing to give somebody credit. So they have to be have the mentality that we're willing to buy this twice, maybe. Mm -hmm. You know, so it doesn't make sense. So how do we solve for that? How do we de-risk that second leg, which is selling into the market? Yes. And so that's what we did before, like BMPL was BMPL. We we had a solution we built that uh, at that time buyers were getting net 90 free, free net 90 uh, and sellers were guaranteed payment on day 30. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's just like a massive leap forward. Oh, well, for sure it is. Yeah. So that's brilliant, man. And I've recognized that as well. The whole industry deals on credit. And if you can bring that time period down, it helps tremendously with your cash flows. So what's the goal to get down to zero and like almost zero i mean maybe not zero but almost zero to do that transaction much more quickly to help the cash flows is that you know so i just had this conversation and in my mind uh bringing it to zero is is a, is sort of a troublemaker okay because everybody else is going to be upset <laughs> well Meaning that it can be done. Like today, we could say, you know what? We're going to pay out on, on day zero. But that really throws the material risk out of whack, right? Because you have a seller who, that's like paying your home builder before they get out of their truck. <laughs> well, you that, know, it's like. Happening today, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> and so there's a reason that it's net 30 typically. Right. Yeah, people want to pay later, but also it provides this time period where goods can be moved, inspected, and received. I see. So you want to afford that time because really there's the operational component of this too, which is it's messy for a seller because most sellers are like built around the fact that you get paid in 30 days. I take it a step further that the seller is more interested in the guarantee of payment than when they're going to, as long as they know for a fact that they're going to get paid, yeah. that's by and large, and within reason, uh, the comfort that needs to be created. Mm -hmm. But it's messy for a seller, just as it is for a buyer, if they deliver something and it's the wrong thing. And now they've already have money, right? So you've just created twice the amount of unwinding that needs to occur. And how is that seller benefited by getting that money early? Yeah. You know, now you've taken something that could take, you know, a couple of people to get unwound. Now you'd probably have the whole accounting department, you know, asking people like, you know, how do I back this out? And, you know, all this stuff going on. So the idea is like, and I use this analogy of the day, which is like the pitcher's mound is 60 feet, six inches for a reason, right? It didn't start there. Like you move that thing up to 60 inches, boring baseball gets even more, or 60 feet, Baseball gets even more boring, right? If you move it back to 61 feet, you know, people would be hitting them into the river. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's like, I think that there's this balance between cash flow and quality of goods that, sure. that I think we've just sort of found this spot yeah. that works. And yeah. you could argue like as the batter, it, it depends where you are. The batter, like, yeah, move it back to 62 feet. It'd be great. You know, but the other side, like, nah, I'm probably getting too many runs. So I think we found the sweet spot. Do you think there's a chance of easing into it, you know, over time? Because, you know, as a culture, we're getting more used to paying for things right away. Like Amazon as an example, right? I mean, um, it... well, I think that, so you're saying like, kind of, would a buyer ever get to a point where it's just like, why don't we just pay now? Is that what you're what you're asking? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm asking. <clears throat> um, I think it depends on which, I guess, strata, the stratum, stratum, strata of of the market where you are. Meaning, like you have uh, 
I don't mean that from like a quality of the company standpoint. I mean like companies deliberately deal in different tiers of quality, right? They could they could be in prime steel, but they decided no, we're gonna we're gonna do surplus or we're gonna do um, you know uh, reconditioned or whatever. So I think depending on where you reside, in sort of that hierarchy of newness of of, of material. I think that's going to dictate how the buyer's going to be paying. I think the 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 further you get away from the material being new, the more likely it is that that's going to be like a cash deal. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. you're further and further away from the specification that it, to which it was made. Right. <clears throat> and so it's and they want it quick. They just want it done. Whereas I think when you get to like the newer prime material, I think there's always going to be uh, the sellers. I mean, one of the reasons you have terms is it is it basically is an inducement to get buyers to buy from you, right? Yeah. You don't have to pay now. Yeah, pay later. You pay me when you get paid. How about that? Yeah, yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. so I think that there's always that inducement there to get if if a, if a seller has the balance sheet to say you can pay me later, I, I think that that'll always be attractive to a buyer who is in turn waiting to get paid. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I think cash flow will always uh, be important. And, it, you know, we we let buyers offload that burden to a third party, right? But with, yeah, with buy sure. now, pay later. Yeah. <clears throat> but we'll see how buy now, pay later uh, fares over time. I, I don't yeah. really know what that looks like in the future i think it's a fantastic thing and i think it's a secure thing to do yeah but to what to what extent is that going to be uh just flat out accepted lock stock and barrel across the industry i don't, I don't really know yeah 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 well i know that other industries you know construction um you know they offer discounts for paying early that sort of stuff right <clears throat> um so it could be gamified or whatever you want to call it, whatever the buzzword is. Um, and then there's the financial tools, right? That you can do factoring and whatnot. So 